Hey, I'm Dave from Jam Hub, and today we're going to learn more about sound checking for your Jam Hub Tracker MT16. Now, sound checking is just as important for recording as it is for performing. Take the time to do a good sound check, and you'll get a good recording. Also, sound checking for multi track recording is exactly like sound checking for performing. Every musician needs to take a turn, and they need to really crank on it. If you're singing, belt it out. If you're playing the drums, hit it. Guitar players, bass players, take it, work it. If you're going to set your levels properly, you need to check like you're going to play with energy. Your tracker has a really spartan design, which makes it compact and simple and affordable. There's only one clip light for all 16 channels, and there is no internal gain staging. All of your gain staging is done at the board, whether you're using a Jam Hub Studio or a mixer. Now, some boards run really hot, and you're going to need to work closely with the person running sound to get a good recording. The clip light and the headphone jack are both active when the tracker is in arm mode. So, you want to arm your tracker, plug in your headphones, and move through each musician in turn. You're going to hear them at a delay in the headphones, because what you're hearing is the actual digital capture, not an analog bypass, so you can properly assess quality. If the signal is coming in too hot, the red clip light will flash. When a signal is clipping, turn the gain down on your Jam Club Studio or on the board. When you can run through a song with no clipping, you're all set. To find out more about using your Jam Hub Tracker MT16, visit our website or check out some of the other videos in this series.